Hey guys everybody, this is my Melmo, and today I'm going to be showing how to download and get fully running a PlayStation 2 emulator. So first of all, you're going to want to go to emulatorzone.com, and then just straight to PlayStation 2. PCSX2 is the best one for frame rate and um, getting higher quality out of every game. Okay, now that it's downloaded, just copy it to your desktop, and then I'm going to do this just because I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work. Um, I don't want it to just extract everything straight to the desktop. And there we go. So you run this, and uh, system default, which will do whatever your um, <coughs> computer's language is selected at, and then you just want to leave all of this uh, default unless you know what you're doing. Whatever. So now here's a here's the thing: the PlayStation 2 BIOS you it's technically legal. Um, I will be putting this BIOS folder into uh, Google Drive or somewhere and then linking it into the description. Um, this is a games folder, doesn't matter. And uh, then you can just select whatever. Okay, there it is. So just do... There it is, USA version 2.2. And here is this. Now go to config plugin settings under video. You're going to want to keep it on Direct 3D9 hardware. Um, at least it was the best for me. I guess try each one depending on your computer. Um, for PlayStation 2 resolution, uh, once again, it just depends on your computer. Um, so, um, enable shade boost, uh, that's just like, you can f change the saturation up and contrast and all that stuff. Not important for me. Um, all of this, uh, enable HW hacks, uh, for me, uh, on a Crash on Sanity, I had to have it on with half pixel offset and skip draw on 7. Uh, there was a slight, the fog was messed up on Crash Insanity, and that fixed it, so if you have a problem with your, if a game texture has a problem, just go into here and figure it out, it's basically just trial and error until you get it. Um, Anti-aliasing, you can go all the way up to 16, oops, uh, so, uh, texture filtering, obviously just smooths out the textures and interlacing I'm going to show you that in just a second okay now for audio it really doesn't matter um, I turned the latency down because of um, it just didn't because the way that it was made was the PS2 was normally just going to go to a TV well now you're going to be playing on a computer monitor so you wanted to kind of change the latency or whatever at least I wanted to, uh, I didn't notice a huge difference, so uh, you can turn the audio expansion mode up and all that. I don't know what all this does, so sorry. Now, controllers, um, I'm going to be the situation where I have DS3 tool and the PS3 controller right here. Um, so I'm just going to load bindings. Uh, um, there's this one which I don't know why it's not working though, and there's this one which is a custom one that I made and enable. There we go. So it said detached, but it's not anymore. Just apply, okay. And then that's all good. Oh, I guess you could do multi taps. So an ISO selector. Um, I'm going to go to my desktop, find the. Uh, PS2 emulator, and then go to games and Cortex fast. <coughs> okay. 
Okay, now as you can see, it's bumping up and down. What you want to do is you want to press F5. That will change the interlace mode until you get it smoothed out. So with this one, it's just... I don't even know... Uh, there's one of them where lines will go across the screen. I don't know why it's in full screen, um, but I just have the interlace. Uh, I forget which one. I'll figure out when the game's actually doing stuff instead of just this. I don't, this is not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Uh, this one might be. So you can also mid-game just change your configuration stuff. <coughs> so right here, I can just immediately switch to whatever. Um, if you want it to be widescreen, I think they have to go to Core GS. Yeah, it's GS window. So you got a 416 by 9 um, apply, and then it's all games will be in widescreen. I'm just gonna go load. I might have to import my save state. Okay, and now that my memory card is in the correct folder, I can just confirm the load, and here it is. Now you can use the analog sticks if you can figure it correctly and use DS3 tool with this setting on, so it's pressure sensitive with this as well as with the normal buttons, um, like square, X, circle, all that, um, which is very important because you see it does a little hop if you hold it down, you do a bigger jump. Um, you can, if you want to get a game, basically all that you have to do is go to either this website, emuparadise.me. Oh shoot! And then from there, you can just go to um, the, uh, uh, where is it? PS2 ISOs, and then you can just download pretty much any, every game. Um, I haven't searched for a game and not found it except for, uh, I think, it was Jack 3. I can check that right now. Oh. Yep, Jack 3. Oh, I guess it was right there. I don't have a reason to get that anyway. I have the HD whatever. I think just finding a game. If I wanted, you know... Crash whatever. They're all right here. Um, so, as well as there's this website, which is quite a bit faster of downloading, but they don't have nearly as many games as you can see.